Today on Review This Thing, we're gonna review this thing, the Garmin Zero C1 Pro. This is Adrian with Review This Thing, and we are pretty excited to bring you the review of the Garmin Zero C1 Pro chronograph. You've seen us use chronographs for quite a while, especially in our videos testing out the Vortex binoculars and Burris scope that have the ballistic functionality. Well, when we saw that Garmin had their very own, very small chronograph, we knew we had to give it a try and see how accurate it would be and how easy it would be to use. Let's review this thing. Let's cover the facts. The first part is fit. It's three inches wide by two and a half inches tall and an inch and a quarter at its deepest. And it only weighs 3.7 ounces, which is so much lighter and less bulky than most of the other chronographs that we have used making it super easy to just throw in your range bag and take anywhere you want to go. Plus, it will definitely fit your shooting scenario. Especially when you're bench shooting, you can just use the three inch tripod it comes with and just set it right there on the bench. And it takes up basically no room, so it doesn't get in the way at all. Plus with its size and where you put it, it's not gonna get knocked off the bench from a muzzle blast, especially from a muzzle brake. And that mount on the bottom means you can use it with pretty much any tripod out there, which is ideal for whenever you're maybe kneeling or sitting on the ground or standing to shoot. So this is pretty straightforward. With its size and its mounting abilities, we're gonna have to give it a five out of five. Now is the Zero C1 Pro as advertised. First, Garmin advertises that it's simple to use. Setup is super easy. You just turn it on, select new session, then choose your weapon. For some, you can choose your anticipated velocity range. Then you can also choose the weight of your projectile if you want to get more precise information about kinetic energy. Then place the Garmin where the instructions tell you and shoot. That's it. It really is that easy. When you're done with that session, you just scroll down to the bottom, hit end session, and it stores your data right there on the device in the history and it can actually store up to 50 sessions with up to 100 shots a piece before you have to Bluetooth sync it with the app. The next thing they advertise is that it is reliable. One nice thing is that it uses radar to detect speed, which is why it doesn't have to be lined up perfectly with your target or lined up perfectly with your muzzle because it doesn't rely on muzzle blast to trigger it. It's also why it can read a rifle shot with a suppressor, and it's also why you don't have to shoot through it like with some other chronographs. And I have to say, I feel like we have found this to be very reliable. I don't think that it's missed a shot with a rifle yet, except the one where I had turned it to see if you could use it at an angle. That didn't really work, so just want to make sure it's in the direction of your target. And I think when we first used it, it might have missed one shot with a bow, but again, we just moved it a little bit, and it hasn't missed any since we got that figured out. And the measurements have seemed to be pretty consistent as well. Just like the size and simplicity, knowing that it's going to work and you don't have to mess with it the whole time has been great for us. I will say that we did not test this at an indoor range, so I don't know if it might pick up other projectiles as well. If you've taken it to an indoor range, comment below and let us know how that worked out for you. I do want to add here, though, that there is about a one to two second delay from the time you see the speed after your shot where it has to analyze it. Keep in mind, if you want every shot to be tracked, you just need to take that break in between. You can still shoot quickly, it's just gonna miss some of those in the middle. And finally, Garmin advertises that it is versatile. They say it'll measure from 100 to 5,000 feet per second, and it'll work with a ton of different weapons. We've mainly used it with a rifle and with a bow, and so far, as I said, it's done great with those. But I also wanted to test it out with a few other things we have. So I got my air rifle out and shot that from a standing position and it did great. I also shot an air pistol that showed some very repeatable measures. Then I had to get the paintball revolver out and it did great with that too. And as you would expect with a nine millimeter pistol, it also did great. Registered every shot, no issues at all. Then because you know we love to test some turkey loads, we wanted to shoot the shotgun as well. Garmin says it will track slugs, so we wondered if those TSS loads would work too. Unfortunately, that was not the case. If you have figured out a way to get it to read shotgun loads, especially turkey loads, please comment below or contact us and let us know. We'd love to add that to our testing. So far, we have seen the Garmin Zero C1 Pro do exactly what they say it should. So we're gonna have to give it a five out of five. Now onto construction and durability. 
the Zero C1 Pro is made of a pretty heavy duty plastic and feels like it should be pretty sturdy. I know we've dropped it a couple times and haven't had any issues with cracking or the screen breaking. It has an IPX7 waterproof rating. It has been in the rain and hasn't had any problems. It has an internal lithium ion rechargeable battery that you just recharge by plugging in a USB-C cable right there on the side. Garmin says it should last for about 2000 shots. We've been shooting with it for a few months and it still has about a quarter of a battery left. Since it is an internal battery, I just hope it lasts for a very long time. The 2.2 inch backlit display is sunlight visible. So that's great because you can see it without having to shade it on those sunnier days. Another really cool thing about construction is that the device syncs with your phone in the Shot View app. On the homepage, you can see all of your sessions. When you choose a session, it's gonna show you how many shots, your average kinetic energy, average muzzle velocity, the min, max, spread, and standard deviation. And on the app, you can also make edits. So if you forgot to change the bullet weight, you can do that right there on that screen. We also like that you can add notes to that session if there's anything special you wanna remember about it. And on that page, you can also change the name of the session. So if you want to name it after a certain rifle, or maybe you have a suppressor on it that round, you can change that there so you don't have to actually remember that information. And you don't have to write down everything when you go to the range. You know that generally in this section, we like to tell you something that we think they could do better, but we really have been quite pleased with it so far. So I'm gonna have to give construction and durability a five out of five. Next, testimonials and reviews. Overall, the Garmin Zero C1 Pro gets stellar reviews, but there were a few complaints. Well, like we talked about before, a few people did mention that it picks up shots in adjacent lanes. We're pretty fortunate in that most of the time we're by ourselves when we shoot, but if you've had that experience, definitely comment below and let us know. Someone else didn't like the fact that you have to wait for it to analyze. They wanted to shoot more quickly. Just know if you want it to get every shot, you are gonna have to wait or you're gonna miss some if you wanna shoot fast. Another person complained that it doesn't track multiple velocities downrange. It doesn't, it's just gonna give you that muzzle velocity, but if you use the bullet weight and all that information, you can easily use a ballistic app to get that information. And then a couple of other people had some thoughts about that shot view app. One person said they would like to be able to upload photos. And I think that would be a pretty good idea because then you have all of the shot data and then you can also take a photo of your group and its measurement as well. And then one person didn't particularly like that you have to manually sync it with your phone. I could see that, but it's also not that big of a deal to do. And that information is on the device if you wanna see it quickly. And then the last complaint is that it's expensive. We're gonna get into that in just a second. But with testimonials and reviews, we give you the score we found, which is 4.9 out of five. And lastly, should you buy this thing? As always, it depends. The Garmin Zero C1 Pro does retail for about $600. And you know how Garmin is, their stuff rarely goes on sale. So you're pretty much looking at that price. So if you only use a chronograph every now and then, I'd say stick with one of the cheaper ones. But if you plan to get a lot more use out of it, like maybe you're trying to build a ballistic profile to get your dope right for a long range hunting trip, or if you reload, or if you're into building custom arrows. In our experience, we haven't found an easier one to use. That ease of use, plus it's very compact, transportable size, and the reliability make it worth it. Sure, I would love to only pay two or $300 for it, but it's fairly new technology, so those prices may be down the road a little ways. So as far as should I buy this thing, if you shoot as much as we do and you need that information, I'm gonna have to give it a five out of five. Thanks for watching our Garmin Zero C1 Pro chronograph review video. Oh, hey, you're here, make sure you like it, share it with your friends, comment. If you haven't, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Head to our website, reviewthisthingtv.com. You can also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter.